This is Kelly from Rupert Suit Junk Journals, and my desk is a mess. That's true, because I'm I'm going here, I'm going there. Flit and left, flit and right. So I was working on Christmas stuff, and I am still working on Christmas stuff, but I had to take a break from Christmas stuff, although I still got it piled here to show you a this other cover that I'm working on and I need to do something with that and then I've also got this which has to be done right now because it's a birthday present for my oldest child and who really likes purple and metallics things like that and I thought I've had this for not that long but I thought maybe that might go somewhere on there not sure I'm not sure, but I'm doing like a three ring binder, but two rings instead of three. So hopefully, I don't know if I should do the third one in the middle. I might have to. But either way, I've, I've got the rings. There's an extra one around here somewhere. Because I was going to do three, and then I thought I was going to do two, and then I remembered that I... I kind of picked a bigger one, so I might actually need to do three. So I'm probably gonna do three, but, <laughs> and I had to use my, my Crocodile Big Bite, and by the way, went right through both layers in one shot, making the holes on these. Yeah, a regular, like just three ring hole punch wouldn't, wouldn't cut it. This needs to dry. I put this metallic edging on there. It's like this copper, a uh, color box copper ink that I that I that I coated uh, that part with. Now this is not a journal I'm going to be making. I'm making the base of it so that Max can sort of do do their own thing. So, and I used this nail polish which is also like a copper metallic for the rings so that gives that a fun effect I got coat one on so I might as well do coat three or coat one on the third ring get that taken care of so I called and said, are you doing anything on your birthday? Are you going to be home? Should I send this package? Because I'm thinking it would arrive by Thursday if I shipped it. But I'm also thinking, well, anyway, Max said, no, I'm, I've got a birthday thing out of town. So that took the pressure off me a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. I wonder if I should just, I wonder if I can have it shipped to their, to their business. I wonder if that would work out better because then they'll just drop it off and there's always someone there. <coughs> so the, it's just downstairs from their so apartment. It seems like they would, it would be easier for them to just ship it ship stuff. Anyway, coat one done for those. And then I'll definitely let this dry before I poke another hole in it. Got that going on. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. Okay, I have these that I got from someone and I'm thinking this these would go really well in my Christmas my Christmas uh, D stamp, not the Christmas bundles. Oh my gosh. And they are really loaded, loaded up. So that's good. I think I'll do it like this and just throw, you can just glue those right into a page. And then they're almost like a mini writing area. And they had these, this is from Marty. So thank you, Marty. I just think those would be so cute. So probably I'm thinking cutting these at the bottom of the metal of the mirrors. Probably work out really well for it you to be able to possibly tie it on something on the top and then you've got a potential dangle at the bottom with the mirror. 
There's different sizes. This one, we'll just trim it like that. There's red and pink. Keep these two together. Almost that could be almost like a bookmark. These are really handy for junk journaling, I must say. I must say. I must, and then I did. Okay, here's another double kind of a bookmark kind. Oh, these are tangly. Oh, this one has, why are there so many mirrors on this part? What did I do? Now we've got tangles. There we go. Okay, so this one, that one's perfect to leave as is. This one is exactly how I want it. And then probably just save the mirrors for other dangles along the line. A little pouch of embellishments over there. Let's see. Oh, my desk is so full. It's so full. Okay, these are embellishments. And I want to put all those kind of the same spot, which is over in this direction. So I'm just going to do that for now. For now. And I found more Christmas stuff. I I recorded a sorting Saturday, so that might be a little confusing because I recorded the sorting Saturday before. And um, I did, I'm posting this video, which I'm, anyway, they're a little out of order, but I had to do it that way. And I found more Christmas stuff. So that was pretty crazy, including a bunch of these tags, like base tags. Especially like the ones for Christmas with the music paper on it. Anyway. Anyway, that's fun. More like tag bases. Gazillion of those. This I need to put with something else. We'll put it in the fabric scraps because why not? And I still have fabric to cut up. I was so proud of myself. I brought like little, I organized this stuff really, really well. And then I brought it to the RV and organized um, the packs in there. So that worked out really well. Christmas packs. Oh, those are fun to make. They're really ridiculous because they're just full, full of every, all kinds of stuff. So I was saying you could probably make like three Christmas journals. <laughs> with those. Okay, I'm excited to show you this that I've been playing around with. Uh, but it doesn't look that great right now. <laughs> it's definitely a work in progress. But a friend gave me leather scraps. I don't think the blue matches. The blue's all getting covered up. But the, I had fun like putting these little fabric scraps on there. I'm just not really sure. I'm at this phase where I'm like, I'm not sure I like it all that much. I'm going to continue on with the buttons. I'm using all metal buttons with the leather. I think that's kind of cute. I'm not going to work on this right now because I'm just not sure where I'm going with it. I'm thinking I might paint this. I wish I had some, some white or black gesso because I just gave it away. And now I'm like, oh, now I need it. But I can always cover it with fabric or paper, right? Yes. And someone else can use it for its real purpose. Sorry, I'm like, I do my sleeve shoving bit. It's cold in here today. I need to go get heater, little heaters for, for this craft room. I almost used this one for a gift, but then I thought this would be really good with vintage. So I'm gonna save that for a vintage one. <laughs> and plus I found a purple one, something just fell over. I don't know what it was. It's a mis oh, it didn't. It didn't spill. It just clattered. I'm a little toss on that. I'm gonna save that over there. What am I? There was something I was gonna do. Oh yes, this. This is like the first washi tape I ever bought, or like the second washi tape I ever bought. Oh, looks like it doesn't go in there at all. And they were these l labels from directly from China. And this is like real washi tape. There's actual like 
a lot of washi tape on each roll and it's a nice, that nice texture. But I thought, I love making like mini labels and these are like tiny little frames. So I'm gonna try to make little labels. I gotta, I'm gonna get some stamps out and come back. I moved the stack up and it's on, on the verge of a craft -a But I've got this set from my grandma. So I thought I'd just bring it along, show you. It's pretty cool and it's got numbers. I think it's got numbers. Where are the numbers? Oh goodness, Kelly, did you take all the numbers out? Looks like a lot of letters, but no numbers. Good gravies, Gertrude. It appears I've taken the numbers out and put them someplace. <laughs> I'll look for them. That wasn't that hard to find them. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I've i got the numbers in here. So those are exactly what I want to use. I'll close up my classroom printer and put it back in its little spot beside my desk. See you later, classroom printer. Okay. Isn't that fun? I only need some paper. What kind of paper? I need white paper. Which? Oh, we're going to use this because why not? Now, what I found and the reason I'm using white is I don't want it to be white and the, f the final product to be white. Let me get this bag out of here. But I do want it to be grungy. And so it just works best. I found with washi tape, especially this kind of washi tape, it works best to distress it after it's laid down because then you distress the paper and the washi in one shot. So I think I'm just going to lay this out and see what I've got here. There's a lot of different different labels. And then, I don't know, I think I can, I think it'll let me just set it down gently and then I'll stamp below it and then hopefully Hopefully, okay, here's, that's the letter A. Thought it was the number seven. Definitely is not. That's a five. This is a one and a six. One and a six and a one and a, a one and a two and a, good song, right? Yeah. Those are letters. Where are my numbers? Well, here's some numbers. Here's the numbers. These are a little bit bigger than the letters, which is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Well, at least the printed bit is bigger. Sometimes they're not, especially in these old ones, they're not always the same size as the, the printing on the top is what I'm trying to say. I think that's all the numbers, maybe? Yeah. I, I probably should have just looked at them. One, two, I'm missing three. Do we need three? Not right now. Okay. It's around or somewhere. Oh, there's a bunch of these threes in there. That's not helpful. I don't need three, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I do need ink, and I think I'm going for black because I, I know it's going to get lighter. As, uh, as you cover up with the washi tape, so we'll just go with our darkest color and go from there. See how this works. What you can do is fours. Ooh, isn't that nice? Because why not? Ooh, that was a little low. How about fives? Now like this, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. But these are a little big, so we're gonna have to try them out and see how they work. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one works. So, I 
for good. This one worked really well. Whoa. Think so. What else? Interesting, interesting. All right, put those down. Now we're just gonna rub these on. That was kind of sad. Turn these off. Now we'll ink them with my dauber. Where's your dauber? It's a good question. Under this pile somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. I know probably where it is. It's just there. It mm -hmm. Oh, that was holding everything up <laughs> that pile. <laughs> it literally was holding everything up. And I bet you my ink is under that there too. Here's my glue. Filled that up the other day. Because you gotta do that every once in a while. Let's get some brown ink. Oh, that's kind of open. Braid burlap. Let's try that. Should I use this ink? Or sponge? Whatever. Okay. That's what we're dealing with. And then I'm just going to, they're going to be small. I'm going to cut right around them. There's one. You know, I have had that washi tape for such a long time and I felt kind of bad because I was thinking, I'm never gonna use it, but I, I like them, you know, I feel like. And I'm just glad I finally found a use for them. That feels good. I don't know about that one. All right, we're trimming. That one's pretty good. One and done. So now I'm looking at these and I'm thinking they're gonna need some darker ink around the edge. I could even do, I could even do black maybe. I could try it. I mean, it's not like it's not like it's a, it's a dangerous risk or anything. It's just paper. <laughs> right? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Blah. It's not great. Let's go with walnut stain. I'm a little obsessed with labels lately, but I I use them on everything. <laughs> I really do. So then you gotta have a lot of labels. And I if I were if I were good, I would just go in. I I mean I have a lot of printed labels. I made some myself and I can print those out and fussy cut them, which I did. And um I can always just buy digital downloads, I suppose. But I don't know. <laughs> I like to make things hard for myself. I'm always like, oh, I want to make these labels. I bet I can make those. And then I just do it and it, it's exciting. <laughs> I really like it. So if I like it, I should just keep doing it, right? But if you guys think it's boring, then that's not too great though. Oh, is there another one here? I missed one. I missed it. Well, I know that I need smaller numbers, so there's that. But 
that's that's easily easily resolved yes all right here we go and the where's my little garbage my pretty little garbage there you are oh we'll save this guy too because why not Oh. Well, my um, my husband and I are going out to dinner tonight with my brother and his wife because they're living in Wisconsin for like three months, which is where I live, and pretty like only an hour away from from me. They're living in an apartment temporarily while they find a house. Well, they just found a house, and they found a house in Indiana. So we've got like three months to hang out with them where they're only an hour away before they become like, you know, eight hours away. So we're trying to get together and we're going out to dinner. We're doing wine and pizza. That'll be fun. All right, I'm gonna find some new numbers and a fair amount of little tiny numbers and some are words too, but I'm just gonna pick these up and they're just too tiny to read at this point, but <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put one in each corner, and then that way I can just pick a corner and stamp it, and then I'll and then I'll swap out. So I need my washi tape again. I do also have black. Let's try doing the black this time. Just kind of put those down lightly. Then I need, do I want, yeah, I, I obviously want black. And I also have another dauber for antique linen to distress them with that. So we're going for it. We are going. Oh, one of them fell off already. That one looks about right. I'll just take that one off. Now, uh, number. Okay, that's the direction. And this is like a long and a rectangle shaped one, so we can do rectangle shaped numbers. Maybe a little lighter. There we go. Now let's see why I can't do a bunch of them all the same. Oh, I forgot that guy. Well, any more squirt? This one will probably work, I think. We'll give her a go. Oh, I see it's the same as that one. Oops, oh well. Some crumbs. Okay, we'll put that down. Hopefully I can do this somewhat quickly. Otherwise, oh, that all fit in there. Good. Excellent. Ooh, that one's actually a little tiny. Try not to ink it up too much before I get there. As long as I get it down, then I can always smooth them later. There. Okay. Now, might as well pull out the old 
burnishing tool. That's not too bad for time-wise, as you know, once you've got everything prepared, set up, you got your parts and pieces. But I'm gonna go with this antique linen because it's a very light color. And I think that'll give it a nice distress color. These other over here seem a little whitish, and I don't know if that's just my But I guess I wanted them to be a little creamier, like yellowed paper. There we go. That's quite good. Let's see if my my hair is so long right now. It just seems to be in everything. All right. I'm going to try to go along here to limit as much as I can extra cuts. And just trim, trim, trim. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Some of these are a little crookedy, but that's okay. When you ink them, ink them, they look a little bit better. Okay, so this is my walnut stain. So I have to get that back out. Where's my cap? Hmm. Put this one on. It was under there. Tricky. Okay. Walnut stain. Stress the edges. Kind of a nice neutral. I really like those. Oh, those are a little bit better than the other ones. Although I really love the font on the other ones. This is, yeah, these look really good. I'm going to trim this up a little better. Just a smidge. Oh, we'll just do a little, we'll do some corner smidging. Just making up words today. That's the kind of day it is. Okay, let me show you that. That is really cute. Those are pretty adorable. I like them. Homemade. Although I did, you know, put these random random things here that I'm trying to use up, like this washi tape, which I'm sure they don't sell anywhere anymore, if I had to guess. But I am excited to try to make a ton of these. And you know, it is nice to buy labels from a digital, but you know, then you don't want them to all be, look the same either. And you know, your journal, and their journal, and her journal, and his journal, you know. I do like the fact though that you can adjust, I don't know if you realize this, but if you buy labels on your, your, uh, 
and then you're not crazy about the size, you can always blow them up, you know, enlarge your entire digital page print on, printable and uh, or, or shrink it down. You just press the percentage thing, just the percentage on the printing and that works pretty good, actually, actually. Get my crumbs in there. Well, those are cute. More labels to add to my little collection. I really like those. Okay, those look super good. If I were to just, well, hold on. Mm -hmm. We'll use this as an example, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I won't. I'll use this as an example. Woo! Oh dear. I need contrasty. What do we need? Like that. Did you see that little label right there? Is that? Those are cute. Yeah. And it's a nice size too. Sometimes you need a tiny one. Sometimes the big ones are good. But then every once in a while, you need a tiny one. Yeah. Oh, look at this cute little Christmas stamp. Oh. I should make copies of that. <laughs> Cut those out, right? Yeah. Anyway, so let's see here. There's other ones of these too, and I just don't know how we'll ever use them. Look at that like different colored ones let's try let's try stamping these in the black and see if you can even see them at all we're gonna try it just gonna oh first one didn't come out so good no they're going better with this one you have to have a light touch that's what i'm figuring out um, don't always catch on right away. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Well, these scissors don't want to cut very well either. Not very good scissors. These will work better. And then I would think that you could just cut them out around the frame. I don't know. Not even, not even sure that's necessary. You could give them like a white frame would probably work. And you've got lots of different colors all in one shot. This is actually kind of handy. Actually, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Now. Oh, careful. Got all these little, there's like a little edge coming off of there. Here we go. It'd be even better, let me get those scissors out of here. If I could paste this stuff down in a straight line, that would be awesome. <laughs> Got all these stamps floating around here. I know I said I was going to do frames, but it turns out I didn't. <laughs> I think just the color because that way. And I'm not worrying about the white, I'm trying to cover up the white. And it's just the color.
Peace and pearl. Just sit there all day making little tiny labels. <laughs> I can do it. I really can. Never just be happy as a clam. There we go. <laughs> then I would take my cap and put it on there. <laughs> And then pull out my walnut stain and distress them. And they come out looking like that. Which are pretty cute. Especially if you've got like a pink theme. Oh, these are all my wax grabs. All the scraps away, okay. <clears throat> yeah, these are fun. Sit there and ink away. Going camping this weekend. I'm trying to get all my videos set up and done and ready to go, which they mostly are. And uh, a bunch of our friends are going. It's kind of a big group. Bringing our camper with us, our house. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah, lots of couples. I think there's like one, two, three, four, five, like five couples and then a couple of uh, single, single guys coming, but yeah. Should be fun. Hopefully nobody talks about politics. That's where things go wrong. <laughs> it's that time of year. Oh my gosh. We'll be so happy when the election's over. Well, hopefully things calm down. I had to take a quit from reading up on on political stuff and I was just like oh this is making me really upset <laughs> I'm just so upset so no more for me I'm done with that little scrap there I got some labels done um, I'm trying to think there is more stuff in my Etsy shop right now I did pop a D stash in there and that thing sold phew, right away uh, possibly more D stash coming down the pipe but it, probably more like two or three weeks I'm thinking but I still have the Christmas bundle and a bunch of journal uh, quite a few journals remember journals are good for gift giving if you want to do that all right well as always thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later